can hop in there with yo, I got places to go. People to see time is precious. I look at my car, yeah, out of control. Just like my mind where I'm going, the women, the shorties, no nothing my clothes. No stopping at my Pirelli's on. Unlike my theory, that's always on. The ingredients for red tie curry are 100 grams of baby sweet corn, 200 grams of um, prawns, 164 mils of coconut milk, 2 cups of rice, uh, 1 finely sliced carrot, 2 potatoes, 600 grams of chicken breast, one tablespoon of Thai red curry paste, one teaspoon of fish sauce, one teaspoon of olive oil, and one teaspoon of chicken sauce. We cook the rice in a rice cooker or a pan. We have two cutting boards and two knives, one for uh, vegetables and one for raw meat. We use our wok to cook it all in. We have a set of measuring spoons, a ladle, and a set of kitchen scales to weigh all the vegetables. Put the hob on to full heat with a wok on it, or frying pan, and take five mils of olive oil and carefully put it in. First, we will put the chicken in and fry it. Keep turning it until it's brown on all sides. And remember, evenly slice all the chicken so that it cooks at an even pace. As you can see, the chicken is now changing color as it goes from raw ingredients to cooked ingredients. As you can see, the chicken is now changing color as it goes from raw meat to cooked meat. It goes from pink to brown as this is a change in the composition. Now we're going to add the raw prawns. As you will see, the prawns will change color from a silvery to a pink. As you can see, this is a heterogeneous mixture because you can easily separate the chicken from the prawns. Now we shall add the 200 grams of potatoes. These are unlike the chicken and the prawns because they will stay the same color but they will go from a hard vegetable to a soft vegetable. But as you can see it's still a heterogeneous mixture because it's easy to separate. Now we will add the baby sweet corn and the carrots. Like the potatoes, these will not change color but they will change texture. This is still a heterogeneous mixture. We have been cooking now for 6 or 7 minutes. All the ingredients are starting to soften and cook. We will now add the coconut milk. Remember to keep all this at a very high heat. Now we have turned the heat down to half. And now we are going to add some curry paste to give it the Thai flavor. Now we are going to mix it around. And now you can see it will turn into a homogeneous mixture. Beautiful. As you can see, this is a homogeneous mixture. And now I'm going to add the chicken stock.
but not least comes the fish stock. As you can see, parts of the mixture are homogeneous, such as the sauce, and other parts are heterogeneous. Whilst the Thai curry is cooking, we will now add the side dish, which is the rice. Two cups of rice and four of water. Also do this with a deep pan by adding the same amount. We will leave this to cook for 10 minutes. While making our Thai curry dish, no cotton pounds were formed, uh, but we had some pure substances such as potato and carrots, but they didn't combine to make a compound. We also had some original compounds from our original ingredients, such as the coconut milk, which is made out of the extracts of coconut milk, um, water, and the juice of coconut. One of the compounds in coconut milk is water. Water, the formula for water is H2O, meaning two bits hydrogen and one bit oxygen. Uh, you could easily separate the solids from the liquid, which would change the physical outcome. However, that would alter the taste. I found it very rewarding by making this beautiful meal. I enjoyed the final outcome of the meal. The only part of this project that we found challenging was finding the compounds in the meal. From this experience, I will now know how to notice when raw meat turns to cooked meat, and this will help me in the future. Our goal for next time is to bake something sweet. Oh my god, take a look at this! Doesn't it look great? Mmm! This is so nice. Our ingredients are 100 grams of baby sweet corn, 100 grams, 100 grams. You can see the ingredients are not changing color as they go from cooked. As you, go, yeah. as you can see, the ingredients are now change in color as they go from raw to cooked. They go from pink to brown. This is the composite. This is the composite. Okay, now I'm going to add... Wait, how much? It doesn't matter. Okay. Whilst the Thai curry is cooking, we will, not add, uh, we will now add... No, it would be easy to separate all the solids from the liquid, uh, which will make it a physical 